Hey friends, it is time for our Friday Oils and Oracle card reading on this very special 9-11. Um, I'm actually recording this in advance because I am in the doTERRA, um, they're calling it the connection this year versus the convention. Normally this time of year I'm in Utah enjoying lots of friends and having a good time and taking in all of the doTERRA information that they provide in their convention. But of course, you know, this year has been weird. So they've moved everything online and um, looking forward to that information. So I'm recording this a little bit early because the time it normally shows, I will be um, in that um, connection. <laughs> anyway, so we have a special um, Oracle reading today. And I know today is just a, a pretty heavy day anyway in our history. And I thought this reading was really appropriate um, when I looked at the date and the cards that were coming out as I was sitting here pulling them for this reading. So I used the, um, what are these cards called? Hang on, let me, let me find the box. <laughs> the Wild Offering. And these are just really um, pretty cards. And they have a lot of positivity to them. And it felt like this was appropriate deck to use today. So, again, I pull three cards every Friday, what we need this weekend, what we need next week, and then a message from the universe. And again, I thought the reading this week was going to really, you're going to see it uh, aligning to kind of not only our history of what happened on 9-11, but also where we are today, um, dealing with so many things that are just beyond comprehension, it seems. So, the first card I pulled for what we need this weekend is self-love. And I'll read this to you, but I wanted to show you the card. It's really pretty. Um, so what the card says is show me how to love myself. Show me how to take care of the inner child. Show me how to be kind within. When you step into self-forgiveness, so much can change on the outside. So what that obviously talks to is being kind to ourselves, having grace, um, forgiving ourselves. Um, sometimes we're our own worst critic, right? And, and sometimes we need just that hug to ourselves, right? And emotionally and physically. Um, and, and we're awful hard on ourselves a lot of the time. And this card is encouraging us to take that time and, and apologize to ourselves, right? And move in a forward in a matter of kindness and gent gentleness with ourselves. So the oils I put with this coriander, black pepper, and clove. Now these three oils are very healing emotionally and they provide that support that allows that gentleness of spirit to come through, especially when you're dealing with the trauma or you know, negative self-talk is a really big one. And if you've done that for years and years and years, it is very hard to break that. And, and these three oils really work in that, that area very well. So, um, I particularly like the black pepper one. I find a lot of uses for that just beyond just cooking. I actually just try to diffuse it. It does not smell like pepper you would think in your kitchen, right? But it is. And I do use it in that regard. But when I diffuse it or I put it in an oil blend that I'm applying to my body or I'm taking it in a capsule, it has a very healing um, effect. And, and you kind of feel like some of those emotions associated with the pain that we self-impose on ourselves and carry with us kind of eases off a little bit. So I encourage you to take a look at these oils. Now, I say this all the time, I only use doTERRA because I don't want to be taking anything in my body or putting it on my body that could cause harm. doTERRA has got a very high quality product. I highly recommend it. If you want information about it, just hit me up over on dragonspitapothecary.com. I'm happy to have a, a conversation with you about it figure out what will work for you, what's important, and show you how to use these safely. Because I, I think that's a big piece of essential oil and natural health living is knowing how to use them safely. Not only getting what you need, but using them well. Okay, so that's this weekend, self-love. Next week, I think it kind of builds on that. And again, it's that kind of that healing message. Um, but the card that came up was empowerment. Okay. And this card says, when you ask the divine to take over, you get pulled into your own authentic power. It is a force of inner love that wants your wholeness and magnificence 
unfold my true and radiant self, dear Lord. Okay, pretty cool card. I like the message on that one. So to me, this is talking about stepping into our own power with fullness and grace, knowing that we have what we need to be successful in doing that, knowing that we we are supported, um, whether it's you know by people around us that love and care about us and cheering us on, or if it is that higher power. And maybe it's a combination of both. I hope in your case it's a, a, a both. So what else I put with this one? And you'll see it. Clove is in this list again, but I put clove, tea tree, and ginger. Now again, clove is that healing oil, right? It's one of those um, awareness oils that helps us heal and work through things that could be blocking us from feeling empowered. Tea tree and ginger. So tea tree again is a detoxifying oil, but it also kind of clears the way, right? It kind of clears out the negativity that we're still harboring. Um, and ginger, sometimes when you're working through those changes, you get digestion problems, and ginger is very supportive in that respect. Okay, so clove, tea tree, and ginger. Um, and again, I would, you know, diffuse those. Those, all three of those you could take internally, um, just very helpful oils to support emotional work here. Okay, you ready for the message of the universe? Oh boy. Oh boy. Challenges. Okay. And if the two cards we haven't already talked about indicate challenges that we can encounter in our own being and trying to love ourselves and be, feel empowered and act on that power, this card definitely will speak to it. <laughs> so the, the reading on the card says, unbearable situations throw you directly into God's arms if you are open. Please take over, divine, and guide the right direct actions. Please take this burden and show me your will. So we all have challenges in our life, big and small, but we always have the challenges. Um, you know, there's not too many days that don't have some kind of hiccup to them, right? So to me, this is calling us to um, not only heal ourselves and come from a point of love and grace with ourselves, but to lean into the higher power that's available to us, um, particularly when things get beyond what we think we can figure out or beyond what we think we can tolerate or have the strength to endure. So again, I saw this reading as very um, aligned to our history that happened on this day and, and the sad things that happened um, and the healing that's still needed in so many respects on that. Also healing and just a lot of the things that have happened in our nation and the world at large this year. Um, but more than anything, that self-love, you know, all of that starts with us. And, and being able to heal ourselves so we can help the, the world at large heal. So that is our reading for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, leave me some feedback if you would. And again, if you have questions, please reach out to me. I'm always happy to talk about oracles and oils and natural living. Um, feel free to contact me at dragonsmidapothecary.com. And I uh, look forward to sharing next week's reading with you. Bye.